Hello friends, in this video we will see how we can use Terraform to provision resources in the cloud and specifically we are looking at AWS, how Terraform can be utilized to provision resources in AWS cloud. You will need to have an AWS free tier account to proceed further. If you don't have it already, you can create an AWS free tier account by following the link in the description. If you are not having an account already, then you can sign up to Terraform cloud for free. Verify your email and you are good to go. As part of the initial setup, first we need to install Terraform for our operating system. Since I am on Windows, I will download the Windows binary file. Unzip the downloaded file and you will get the actual binary file. Make a folder named as Terraform inside C drive and copy the Terraform binary file to the folder. Next we have to add this folder to the path environment variable by following the steps shown here. Go to system properties. Then advanced properties, then environment variables, edit the path variable and add the terraform folder location and save. To check if Terraform was installed properly, open VS Code and type this command. If you get this response, then Terraform was successfully installed. Now we need to log in to Terraform from the CLI with Terraform login command. Enter yes when prompted for. This will automatically open a page where we can create an API token to use Terraform. Create the token and copy it and paste it on the CLI prompt. If you get this kind of an error in VS Code, then repeat the same steps with PowerShell. After successful login, you will get this message. Now we can switch to VS Code. Open the folder where we want to keep our Terraform project files. Create a new file with any name and save it with extension as .tf file. For our first Terraform project, we can use the sample code which is given in the Terraform documentation and for our use case, we will slightly modify it. We can install the Terraform extension for VS Code so that the Terraform code is more readable to us. Now we will configure the AWS account in which our resources are going to be created. Install the AWS CLI by downloading this MSI file. After installation, you can verify it by running AWS-version command. If you get this output, then the AWS CLI is working fine. Next, we need to set up the AWS access so that Terraform can provision and manage resources in our AWS account. Log in to the AWS console and go to the IAM service. Under the user section, create a new user for Terraform access. After the new user is created, create an access key and secret access key for this user.
Switch to VS Code, open a new terminal, run the AWS configure command by providing the access key and secret access key. Now we have completed all the prerequisite steps as per the documentation and now we are ready to start the resource provisioning on AWS using the Terraform infrastructure as code. Switch to VS code and we have the code that was copied earlier into the main.tf file. We will modify it by changing the region to US East 1 and also select an available AMI from this region. To see the list of AMIs we can go to the AMI catalog under EC2 and copy any AMI ID and add it to our Terraform code. Check that the region selected is the same as the region used in the code, otherwise we will get an error. Now we need to run the command to initialize Terraform. Now we can optionally format and validate the configuration written in our Terraform code by running these two commands. If the configuration is valid, we will get a success message. Now to create the resources, we need to run the Terraform apply command. We can cross check the output of this command and enter yes to proceed. It will take few minutes to provision the resources. Meanwhile, we can also check the EC2 instance page to see if there is any activity happening. As we can see, our EC2 is being created by Terraform. After completion, we will get a success message like this and the EC2 instance will be up and running. We can also check the current state of the provision resources using the terraform show command. Here we can see all the details of the EC2 instance that was just provisioned. In case we want to change the configuration of the resources, we can update the changes in the Terraform code and then run the terraform plan command to see the changes that will be applied. Now let's see how to make changes in the terraform code and how terraform will apply those changes. So we can make changes to the code by changing the instance type from micro to large. Okay. 
run the command terraform plan to see the changes that will be applied now to apply the changes run the terraform apply command So the changes were completed and the instance size was upgraded from micro to large. We can also see another scenario where we can change the AMI ID and this will cause the existing server to be terminated and a new instance will be created with the new AMI. Finally, to destroy all resources provisioned, we can run the terraform destroy command. All useful links will be provided in the video description below. Thank you for watching this video.